All right, thank you, Mike. It's a day two astronauts and their loved ones have been waiting for a long time. Just about time. After nine months up in space, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are on their way back home and to talk about what this trip will look like. We want to bring in a space historian from the University of Chicago, Jordan Bim. Jordan, good morning. Good to see you. Great to see you guys again. Uh, so this undocking process that happened last night, can you walk us through that just for a second? Yeah, I was actually up watching that uh, late last night. And, uh, you know, this is just a standard uh, standard procedure for Crew-9. They are returning on a Crew-9 SpaceX Dragon capsule, which has been docked at the ISS since September. This has been their return ticket this whole time, so they have not been stranded or in need of, of rescue. Um, and uh, the spacecraft is called Freedom. Uh, it is currently uh, away from the ISS, and uh, viewers can actually turn in, tune in this afternoon to watch the deorbit burn. And that should start around 3.45, Central time, uh, that coverage on on NASA it could could change for uh, any any number of technical reasons, but that's the planned time. They should be hitting that deorbit burn around 4:11 Central time, and if all goes to plan, they should be splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida just before 5 p.m. Central time. And boy, will it be great to see them back on Earth? Uh, you know, there's no place like home, and I know that that thought is going through their minds right now. Oh, it's going to be incredible. So, can you walk us through what happens once they land? How NASA gets involved? What happens as we see them for the first time. Yeah, so it's going to be such a great moment to watch that hatch open and to see Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams feel that fresh air on their faces for the first time in 286 days. You know, that's a long stay in outer space. Uh, you know, I mentioned last time I was on the show that that doesn't quite put them in the top five of long stays on the ISS. I looked into the numbers and this will actually, they will rank 11th, uh, they will tie for 11th in terms of longest stays on the ISS. But what happens afterwards is that they go into the expert medical care of NASA's space medicine experts. They get flown back to Houston. Within a day or two, they can start sleeping at home, spending time uh, with their family, and they continue to have you know, medical checkups for weeks and months afterwards uh, because you know, it, the space is hard on the body. The microgravity environment of the ISS uh, leads to things like muscle atrophy, bone loss, vision changes, things that are well understood and that shouldn't pose a serious threat, but that do require some monitoring. So after after all of this, what essentially do they do in, in between the time? Obviously, we know there, there are things they do outside of traveling to space. How, what does that look like for their day today after they come back here to Earth? Right, so within you know within a few months they should return to normal astronaut duties. Um, now, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are veteran NASA astronauts. They have both been to space many times, so it, it's unclear whether or not they are going to continue to stay in the pool of active NASA astronauts, or whether they may follow uh, the lead of some of their other uh, compatriots and leave for private sector jobs or maybe retire. You know, both of them have more than served this country with valor and bravery uh, for for their entire career is going back to the Navy for both of them. So it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what, what Butch and Sonny uh, choose to do after this. Oh, I bet they'll be just uh, cherishing the family for a minute before oh, yeah. they get back to work. Well, it's so good to talk to you. Thanks for walking us through it all. And we want to remind everybody that you can watch it all unfold on our Fox local app. We'll be streaming it. Mm -hmm. Good to have them back here. All right, Jordan, thanks so much. Thank you.